Hey everyone, I am 22 Tiger Dude, and I am here to review the SpongeBob episode Bumper to Bumper. That was bumpy, huh? Yeah, I know. So, anyways, let's get to this SpongeBob episode, shall we? Yeah, let's shall. Bumper to Bumper is about when SpongeBob once again fails his boating test. Of course, Mrs. Puff. She gets mad at Spongebob, you know, the Mrs. Puff we've been seeing lately, and she wants to try to figure out a way to finally pass Spongebob so he could get out of boating school and she'll be free for life. And Mrs. Puff realizes that what's getting Spongebob in the way is fear, because he's afraid to take the boating test, so Mrs. Puff decides to help Spongebob pass the test like, go, go out in the middle of nowhere, just practice on the roads. Mrs. Puff tells him his technique, and it eventually works. And, yeah, I'm not going to say any more because I'll pretty much give you the whole episode, which I try my best not to do. So let's go from there. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't looking forward to this SpongeBob episode. Mainly because after we saw in the previous Mrs. Puff episode, remember Demolition Doofus, you know? The episode where Mrs. Puff was completely popped, she was angry at Spongebob, full of hate, wanted to kill him with a huge old monster truck, remember that? Yeah, that was too far, I hated her for that. I don't like what the writers did, you know, the writers should try to be careful what they do, but that was not a good way. Hate, do not hate on someone, try to kill them kids, it's not right, do not attempt that. Ah. <sighs> But actually, this episode was actually way better than I expected. I enjoyed this episode a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean I enjoyed it. Woo, a whole lot. Way better than I expected indeed. Whoo, man. There aren't much funny moments here. But I did get some good laughs. And the, in the middle of nowhere... Mrs. Pup teaches Spongebob this technique. If you don't, if you if you consider this spoiler, go ahead and maybe skip about twenty seconds or less. But pretty much, Mrs. Puff tells Spongebob this technique. Focus on the road. There is nothing but the road for him to keep repeating that. So that's all SpongeBob does. And there was cool desert backgrounds, like while SpongeBob repeatedly says, "Focus on the road. There is nothing but the road." There's like these cool backgrounds with the desert and, you know, Spongebob going up in the bridge with the Spongebob there. And you know what I'm trying to talk about, right? That was really cool. There was also this scene with the 3D glasses and, yeah, that was probably the highlight of the episode right there. And it was just interesting. The last couple of minutes of the episode was a lot of fun, too. It was mainly Spongebob getting nervous and him trying to stop the boat. That was a pretty exciting and fun ride right there. And this episode was amazing. And then the ending came. Now, I was going to give this episode a perfect 10 out of 10. What happened in the ending was that Spongebob finally stopped the vessel. Mrs. Puff past Spongebob because there wasn't a scratch on the boat so Spongebob he actually passed the test yes the little spongy finally got his license he did well he passed everything on the test and then you know what happens a cop comes tells Mrs. Puff that he was way over the county because she was on parole he grabs Spongebob's license rips it up Mrs. Puff gets it arrested again and says, I'll get you for this, Spongebob. I'll get you. And, oh my gosh, why? Why couldn't this be the episode where Spongebob finally got his license? You know, we want to see that little guy drive already. Let him already have it. Why, writers? Why do the writers need to feel the need to just make Spongebob fail it and fail it? Just give the sponge his damn license already. I'm going to give this episode a 9.5 out of 10. If it weren't for the ending, it would have been a 10 out of 10. So, But I did enjoy it. I really highly recommend it. If you're a Spongebob fan, if you're a boating school uh, fan, like you're a fan of these episodes, then you're going to enjoy it. And also, this was actually Mr. Lawrence's first bowling theme episode to write since the season 2 episode, 
no free rides. Just thought I'd give you a little fun fact right there. Subscribe to me, comment below, and give me your thoughts on the SpongeBob episode. Like this video, share this video. I hope you all enjoyed what you've seen here, and don't forget I have Tiger Power!